Hello and welcome to this video in which I am trying to or I'm going to show you how to set up email notifications through your MetaTrader 4. Uh, it is this part that uh, is available in the tools options section. Um, it's not a uh, it's not easy for everyone to figure this out, uh, especially if you're not very technically savvy or it may get a little complicated for you. So my goal here is to try and help those uh, who are kind of new to MetaTrader 4, who are not very really technically savvy, and help them to set up this email notification part uh, without spending any money. That's the important part. I mean, if you're ready to spend money, of course, you can uh, do much uh, more. But those of us who don't want to really spend money and still want to be able to use this native functionality provided by MT4, um, this video is really for you guys. So let's get started. So as you can see, the first thing you need to do is click Enable. And you will have to enter what is called as SMTP server, SMTP login, SMTP password from N2, right? Now, if you already have these details available and if you know how to set them up and how that whole setup works, uh, again, the really the video is not for you. But those of you who are not that well versed with these, uh, I'm trying to make this video for you guys. So. Uh, you will find it easier to set these up. Uh, okay, so SMTP server uh, in layman's terms, let's just look at it as an email server that is used to send the emails out. That's for outgoing emails. It's usually something like smtp.company.com and then colon and then there is a number which is usually the port number. So I'll show you how to get all this information and put that in here. SMTP login is the login given to you uh, to log into that outgoing server. SMTP password is the password for that login. From is an email address that you will have to put that this email is coming from. And to is where you intend to receive these email notifications from MT4. So email notifications are usually sent out by expert advisors when they are coded to specifically send out email notifications. So let's let's now go about setting this up. The <clears throat> there are many services available that essentially help you get SMTP server and um, most of them are paid, but there is one very good one that I found which is free or at least it has a free account that will allow you to send up to 300 email notifications in a day, which is good enough for a normal user. So I'm gonna build the rest of the video using them as an example. So what you have to do is go to this site, sendinblue.com and sign up for their free account. Once you finish the sign up, you will be taken to their dashboard, right? Once the dashboard has been set up, you go to what is called as transactional emails and then go to settings. So once you go to settings, you will see the um, various options for configuration. You go into configuration and you see the option that says SMTP relay. And when you click on SMTP Relay, you also see an option that says get your SMTP key. Once you click on this, it will open up a new tab. And I have already opened this up and I have zoomed in so that, of course, it's easier to see. Plus, it is, um, I'm protecting my own uh, login credentials from being displayed on the video. So when you click on that, SMTP key option. It brings you to the screen where you have two areas, API keys and SMTP. Again, the screen will look slightly different because um, I have zoomed in a lot. It will look slightly different, but essentially you're coming to this tab that's called SMTP. 
and here if you scroll a little bit you will see these two um, entries SMTP server port number so what you have to do is copy the SMTP server and go back here put that server in here you see the port number 587 you have to put colon 587 and then on the same page here below you will see the login the password and from and to um, I'm not going to show my login credentials uh, just to protect uh, my account from being used but you will get that information you will put that here um, you will put the password they give you and in the from email just put any email like no reply at dummy domain dot com and then put your email here where you actually want to receive the notifications okay so I just finished that whole setup don't forget to um, click OK here and um, I just finished the setup and hit the test button like I said and as you can see in the journal part I see test message has been sent so when you see this is typically the success that um, you're looking for and um, as you can see this is the test message that came through uh, to the email box that I was hoping to receive it in okay so good luck